Hi, my name is Amari, and I am a senior. And I use the Canon PowerShot to take most of my photos unless I don't have it, you know? Sometimes I can be very forgetful. I love aesthetics, so editing and adding different moves to pictures is right down my alley. Roses in the night, <laughs> my favorite. This is a picture of my rose gold shoes I bought a few weeks ago. I was coming home from a party and I was like, yo, look at my shoes and how they glow in the, in the dark, you know, with a, with a little light. <laughs> yeah, the color of the shoes describe my personality, chilled and laid back, but glowing at the same time. So I darkened the shadows and added a color fix to make the shoes glow more. Watery. Water is basically my broken phone on the ground, even though you won't be able to tell, obviously. I was in the courtyard staring at my phone, so I decided to use it in the picture. I liquefied the broken screen to show how I can make something broken into something pretty. I can't see. I was in my room looking at my glasses, sitting there in my case, and it was funny to me because I couldn't see. So I took a picture just because, well, it's kind of obvious on what this has to do with me. I can't see, but I have a hard time seeing. So when I put my glasses on, I changed the filter to black and white and darkened the blacks as much as I could without overdoing it. Another perspective. Another perspective is basically a picture of the back of my friend's head. I just turned the picture black and white and strengthened up the volume and tone. So, basically, it's explaining how I am easy to be understood, but the biggest part is how I can easily understand others. How I could put myself in their shoes and see through their eyes and see the way they see things. Get my good side. I was in class and me and my friend were goofing off with my camera and this came out. We didn't even mean to take the picture, which is the funny part. All I did was made it black and white, then blurred out the background. 